mixed emotions. Um, after 31 years, um, after a lot of FBI cover-ups, deceits, and lies, we finally have somebody guilty in the murder of my father. And yes, it is, it's a good feeling, definitely without a doubt. But um, my heart also goes out to the other families, you know, who were searching for that closure, and I think they got robbed from that closure. I know those feelings, I know what it's like after 30 years not to have anybody found guilty for your dad's murder. So my heart goes out to the Leonards, the O'Briens, Stevie Davis. You know, I've met these people over the last couple months and they've almost become family. So when they got robbed, I feel like, you know, I got robbed as well with them. My heart goes out to them. Yes. Um, yeah, um, at some point there was a lot of unproven as they were getting to my father. A lot of them were unproven. Yes, I was getting a little bit nervous by far. Um, but when they came, when it got to my father and they said obviously proved, it was, it was an overwhelming failing. After 31 years, it was an overwhelming failing. My mom broke down, so my mom's a spinal cord of my family. When she breaks, she broke all three of us. And um, it, it was an interesting failing. There's a lot of emotions going on here, people. Dealing with this court, I can't even describe the words and the emotions. And finally have the verdict that we were searching for, my family was searching for. It was, it was a very good feeling. But it's also bittersweet because my heart goes out to the other families as well. You know, He should have been found guilty on everything. Everything. Especially the murders. Yeah, he's going to go to jail for a couple hundred years for guns. He should have been guilty for all those murders that he either participated in or he set up himself. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, I'm 39 years old. My father got killed in his very early 30s. Um, I have, obviously, I, I, have a, I, have beautiful, I have a beautiful daughter. I got great nephews. I got a great niece. My father's missing out on all that. You know, and that's the stuff that, man, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare when I start thinking about how my father's missing everything out. But you know what? We're here. We're fighting. We got one of them. We got Whitey. Now we got one down. We have two to go. Patney and the government. The government needs to be responsible. They need to be accountable for all this crap. We are here because of the United States government. The deceit of the FBI is the reason why we are in this place right now. And they should take care of all the families in any way possible to help that. Absolutely, absolutely. The testimony in this trial is a lot to go from. Gives us a lot to um, pursue Patney in the um, in the civil courts. I mean, excuse me, in the state courts. But um, you know what? It's time to get our lives back together here. This is an unbelievable situation. My brothers and I, we took a layoff to come to this. Our finances, we haven't talked to our friends. This has been a nightmare all around. Now it's time to get back into life. You know, we got to get back into the swing of things. This really, really put our lives on hold big time. You know? No, I actually thought a lot of the corruption, Joe, did not come out in this trial. I, I was hoping for a lot more. You know, obviously I was hoping for a guilty verdict on Whitey, but I was hoping to hear a lot more of the deceit and lies that the FBI covers up. Absolutely. A lot of it should have came out, but it didn't. Um, no, I'm not satisfied with the verdict. I'm very satisfied with um, him being guilty of my dad's murder. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. But there are other things he should have been found guilty on. There are some families out there who've been hurting, just like I have, and now they're never even going to have a chance for closure because they couldn't come up, you know, with a guilty um, verdict. And um, my heart goes out to them. It's, it's, it's a sucky situation. I'm sorry, but it is all the way. Absolutely, Jonathan, no problem. I told you all along that my family is on a double-edged sword here. We were searching for the other person or the other people who killed my dad. And Connie and them are the ones who brought that out. 
Jay and Jay Connie and Brennan brought that out. The, the prosecution did not bring that out. They did a great job on Hammer and Whitey, but they didn't do a good job of bringing out a lot of the stuff that should have been out. And we needed to go to Connie and Brennan to find that information out. How lousy is that? That I'm cool with. I, you know, I ended up finding a relationship or a good relationship with the guys who are representing the men who killed my father. Tell me, you know, tell me there isn't something going on in this courthouse. Why are we talking to them? You know, that's the situation. That's where we are, Jonathan. You know, in order to find out information, I will do whatever, my family will do whatever we could. And we went to Connie and Brendan, and they did bring out the information we needed. And that's why. And plus, Connie and Brendan, they, they were nothing but gentlemen. They would have been nothing but good to us. They, you know, they're class acts, and that's why. So you see them as the de facto prosecutors of the federal government that you despise as much as white. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I don't despise the, uh, I do despise the federal government big time. Let's, let's get that on out there without a doubt. But Wyshack and them did a great job on Hammer and Whitey. You know, I don't want to throw Wyshack, Kelly, and Zach under the bus because they, they did a great job, and they are gentlemen. But they could have they tried Pat Need. Back in 2003, when they had this information, the information about Nee has been out since 03. This is 2013. Why the hell is he walking the streets? Now he's doing some half-assed show on Discovery like he's some big bookie. That's a slap in the face to us. That should be a slap in the face of this building. You know, he was involved in a lot of murders, not just my dad's, um, Davis's murder, Bucky Barrett, my God, he sat there and helped the guy while they went and robbed him and stuff, and then they killed him. Pat Nee is a very dangerous and a very sick individual, and he needs to be tried for my dad's murder. Will you go to this, to these state prosecutors to do this? Will you ask the Congress to? Yes, I will, without a doubt in my mind. There's no doubt. I've already spoke to a couple people from his office, and um, they've been nothing but gentlemen. I talked to a nice lady, and she's been great. So we'll see where it goes from here. Our road is not done yet. We still have another guy to go for, and that's what we're going to do. What do you think of Whitey giving the thumbs up to his family on the way out? You know what? Giving the thumbs up is a joke. So he should have gave the finger. Somebody should have gave him the finger. There ain't no thumbs up. You know what I mean? Thumbs up what? He, all these murders and he sees his family? Yeah, that's, that goes to show you what type of sick loser he really is, giving thumbs up when you just get charged for a dozen murders, racketeering, guns. It goes to show you what type of dirtbag he really is. I do. The piece I got is he was found guilty. John Conley, they let him slip through his fingers. I have no idea how John Conley was not found guilty for my dad's murder. But 31 years of emotion. You know, you got, they killed my father in 1982. I was only a little kid. You know, so to finally hear that and hear a guilty verdict, it was, it, it was a good feeling. It was a very good feeling, you know, without a doubt. Yeah, I heard that. Absolutely. He, got, he, got, he heard it. Oh, yeah, he did hear it. You know, you could yell whatever you want to him. You could say some vulgar words. It ain't going to mean anything to that loser. He don't care about anybody he killed. He don't care about any of the people he extorted. He's, he's just a sick, psycho individual. And when he goes to jail, they should have somebody, you know, do a test on that sick man to really show what type of person he really is. All set, people? Thank you very much. Have a good one, everybody. Ah, oh, my man. My man. <laughs> How you doing?